the news of Blue Estate's demise had a devastating impact on Don Luciano. Clarence, now the time for trickery is past. We must send them a message. Don Luciano, all due respect, we had an understanding. I'm about to do Clarence, some- Clarence, you listen to me. You don't say a word. I'm in mourning today. A member of my family was taken from me. So be very careful what you say next. Tell me what you need me to do, Don Luciano. The Don had made Clarence an offer he couldn't refuse. He wanted the boss killed in front of his whole family. The Europeans rented a golf course in Poodle Springs. For a bachelor party and the boss was making a rare appearance. The only problem was that no one in the Luciano family had ever seen his face. Clarence was done with Lino and Moro's intel, so he came up with a new plan to send one of their hostage cousins to point him out. How am I supposed to make out our guy? Roger that, Clarence. <sighs> Blackhawk will be wearing a pin on his right. coat. Right. A pin. I'll give a shout if Roger I need to. Roger that. Over the party's two clicks. I know that for you, girl. Tiny dogs were a big accessory for the wives and lady friends of the Eastern European mob set. And the theme for this party was bunnies. Tiny, fluffy. We couldn't spring for some snipers? Is this a party or a military op? This is Dispatch. Dispatch? Groundhog? Uh, it's a code name. <sighs> Where the hell is my target? He should be somewhere as near you. We told him, meet you at the south edge of the party zone. Morrow, try and locate Blackhawk for Groundhog here. Let me know. I've never seen a party like this one. I mean, the level of in... This is Dispatch. I see the Black Hawk. He's by a white tent. They're all white tents. Can you see me? He's just waiting. Uh, he's down. Black Hawk down. Black Hawk that down. Oh, this is bad. You didn't tell me what he had on. The Don's gonna kill us. We'll never find the boss now. Oh, God. Use your binoculars. You see anyone under heavy guard? Give me a second, Clarice. I'm looking here. Oh, we're done. Mara, we're finished. Oh, this is bad. Christ. Oh. I'll figure it out.
Yeah. Why don't you answer? I'm a little busy. You find the guy? Even better. We came up with a plan. That doesn't sound good. Hey, you killed the first plan, tough guy. We're trying to do the best we can here. All right, all right. Tell me what you're thinking. We've seen one of them giant cakes come through. The kind that has a girl in sight. If that boss is any kind of man, he ain't missing that. And? We'll think of something while you get to that cake. It's in a tent down the middle, my catering. Gotta reload. All right, I'm in the tent. You find the boss? Here's the plan. Infiltrate that cake. What? Just get inside. They're about to move it. How do you know he'll be there? Wouldn't you be? All right, and then you pop out, boom, boom, and you show them cake is bad for you. Hey, lead fiddling. Pow! Right in the mouth. Gonna trust you on this. Give me a minute to process that. I'm a special surprise guest. Groom's an old buddy. He's gonna love it. All right, Sugar, you ready? You better believe it. Here we go. When you hear the drum roll, that's your cue, okay? I got it. My client, Sherry Pops, was one of the best cake girls in the country. She could pop out of a cake like a... I hope you're ready, because it's time. Uh, I think I see him. Think? Here we go. Uh, it's the guy, he's the guy in the track suit. Uh, no, not that one. I think he's got he's got dark hair. Great, you're doing good. That's pretty good, but that's not the guy. Uh, I, okay, no, this time I know what I'm talking about. Uh, he wasn't here, was he? Uh, maybe he's near the pool. That place is loaded with broads. Maybe one brought in the cake wasn't enough for the big boss. Don't want to hear again about any cake.
it up. Two drunken guys are about to rain grenades down on your head, Clarence. Focus on finding the boss. You're in the range of their six irons. Over there. What'd you do? Boss wasn't here. Give me some news, Mauro. Gotta get to the pool. It's just behind the, uh, that, uh, them bushes. The thicket. I'll cut through. One of California's most luxurious golf courses had turned into an Eastern European hellscape. Grenades, barbecues, men with thongs. Groundhog, only place left is the parking lot, and it's just behind your position. Find the guy. I'll wrap this up.
Mine's no good empty. We seen a guy get in. That's gotta be Kokashi, but the, the boss, huh? Like a hundred Euro trash groups went in there with them. Gotta be the guy. On it. Don't lose him. Ain't ours to lose no more. Shot. Son of a... Uh. Son of a bitch, I lost him. We're done. Uh. <laughs> he got uh. stuck. Clarence. He got stuck on the speed bump. Get over there before they finagle their way off that thing. Bad, bad, bad. Watch my back till the job's done. Roger, over. Now remember, this is a message. One in his brain, two in the chest. I don't need help doing what I do. Just watch my back so no one shoots the messenger. Stay strong, girl. You talk to dogs, huh? Now you die like a dog, 49. What's that mean, 49? 49 is you. 49 little killers visit Kokoshkov. 49 stories ending just like this. What will you say, 49? I will remember your last words. At 66 years old, Mr. David of Los Angeles made the best drive of his life, but lost his golf ball. It was later found in the skull of the infamous gangster, Kostikaka, the boss. Oh, did you get him? Well, he's dead. But no, it was an accident. Ah, oh, Christ. Christ! Oh, no, Christ. Oh, this is bad. We gotta call the boss. Uh, Clarence uh, saved his mom. He'd risen overnight to be one of the most important enforcers in the Luciano Empire. He'd even found Blue Estate. Alive, even. He was a hero among killers. And he was riding off, away from the Luciano family forever. Well, hopefully.